Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. Today I'm going to look at a brewery that I haven't reviewed yet. This is Full Sail and they're from Hood River, Oregon and this is their Bump in the Night. They call it a Cascadian Dark Ale, aka Black IPA, or by the way I think of it is a hopped up porter or stout. And this one is a 6.5% beer. I think I saw in the bottle it said it was about 65 IBUs. Let me double check. Yeah, 65 IBUs. So, um, kind of expecting, uh, yeah, just a, a hoppy porter. Porter malt characters with nice Pacific Northwest since they're in Oregon hop characters. Kind of what I expect. Never had this beer before. This is, I believe, a uh, it's part of their Brewmaster Reserve Series for 2011. Never had it before. I, I'm assuming it's a seasonal. So let's get a look at this. Um, probably get some chill haze on there, but off camera, it's like a really, really dark red. It's it's just dark ruby red. Hold it up to the light, you get more red notes. So it's on the lighter side compared to like Stone's version. Uh, Deschutes' version, some of the other black IPAs. This one's actually a similar color to the one uh, at my local homebrew sh supply shop that they uh, brew. Um, got about a two finger uh, head on there. Nice off-white color. Um, good amount of small bubbles. Kind of a very pillowy head there for the most part. Let's get the aroma on it. Citrus, I mean mostly hops. First up, you get a little bit of citrus um, I'm guessing there's Simcoe in here because I kind of get some of that kind of cat pee kind of like aroma. I hate to use that term, but it's kind of got some of that in. There's a resonance quality. There's some pine in there and uh, kind of an earthy, real kind of a dank earthy kind of character to it. So I'm going to dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's all, it's all so far up front. I am drinking this pretty much right out of the fridge. It's only been out maybe 10 minutes. Follows the aroma a lot um, as far as just being hop dominated. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of pine, kind of resiny, earthy character. That sort of yeah, it's, it, they must be using Simcoe in this thing because there's there's a slight bit of like a citrus character. Simcoe can sometimes be very uh, grapefruity, and other times it can kind of be a little more kind of kind of dank pine earthy character. I, I it seems to kind of go different ways. I don't know if that's uh, just that crop or how that works out where they're grown, but for this one, yeah, just. I'm getting a lot of citrus or Simcoe character, or at least a, something that's at least similar to Simcoe. If you if they're using a different variety in here, yeah, this is actually very, very bitter up front, and then I'm starting to get some of the malt in the back end. But I'm gonna have to let this thing warm up a bit because. It's very much hop forward. Um, the hops are even lingering somewhat right now. It is on the dry side as well. So I, I think they're going for that sort of kind of porterish uh, malt backbone, but it's like really on the light side for this beer. Uh, so far, they're letting the hops kind of shine through more. Um, and just the malt backbone, instead of being biscuity caramelly, it's kind of got. A little bit of a, that roast kind of character in there. So I'm gonna let this thing warm up and get back to you. Okay, and I'm back with Bumping the Night from Full Sail. Let it warm up. Um, been drinking almost a full pint of this by now. Um, it hasn't changed a whole lot since it's warmed up. Um, I do start to get a little more uh, of the malt character in there, a little bit more roast. Hint of chocolate, but not a whole lot. Um, it drinks a lot lighter than it looks, that's for sure. Um, with my Cascadian Dark Ales, I prefer that there's a better malt backbone, something that's more like a traditional porter 
Um, this one's almost like they take a traditional porter and really just lighten it up a whole lot and then just hopped it up. And, you know, that can sometimes work. With this one, it kind of works. Um, I'm going to go with a B- on this one. I think it's just a hair uh, above average um, for this one. It It is fairly, it's really drinkable. Um, it's got a pretty decent hop character. Definitely that kind of resiny, earthy, slightly citrusy, in terms of citrus, like bitter grapefruit kind of hop character going on in the pine too. Um, but the malt just, I wish there was more malt going on with this one. At six and a half percent, it does make it, you know, kind of that border between an IPA and pale ale range. Or in the case of like a porter, that'd be like high range of a, like an American porter. So I, I kind of wish they had some darker malts, a little more complex malt character going on with this beer. I think that would help out with the hop character and kind of play off each other a little better like some of the other better uh, beers in the style like the shoots the top in the dark like Stone Sublimely Self-Righteous uh, those two are kind of like the top beers in the style that I've had so that's going to wrap it up for Full Sail I need to do some more of their beers uh, they're, they're pretty widely distributed on the, the west coast I don't know how it is in the midwest and east coast but um, it's cool that they're an independent employee owned brewery up there in Oregon and uh, they do some other good stuff so I'll, I'll get to more in the future it's gonna wrap it up for bumping the night B minus for me until next time please comment subscribe cheers